Okay. Where, where, <laughs> welcome, where are you based at, welcome, to, welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. Anna Main is here, so we're going to start. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we may be a small group tonight, but that's cool. I'm happy with that, and we'll see who, who else may show up. Nikki, are you here? I am. You are. I just can't figure out why my why you can't see me, but it's up arrow. No, but wait, she there's no head. In, this happened before too. Somehow it is not getting from the camera from your. It's getting another camera. Ah. I don't know why, but it's okay. I mean, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. So why don't we why don't we jump in and look at I mean, so I Sam Sam Reed is here and um, I'm going to a couple of Sam Reed's classes tomorrow and and we could end up talking like uh, planning what we're thinking about all that. But um, and and Anna, you um, one of your kids tried to work with a um, a web story as well. Um, Anyway, so we could we could end up looking at web stories is one of the things we could do. But let's do what we promised to do, if you don't mind, because um, I would love for you all to mess around with this platform a little bit. The um, and and um, here and come up to the main stage, please. Thank you. I'm just saying that to say. So one of the things that's new, they they keep developing. One of the things that's new is that the host can now decide to leave that lighted circle on all the time, which I think is really nice because then you can see who who can hear you and you know, it makes more sense in some way. You can turn that off also. Though. Um, what am I thinking to say? Okay. So. Um, as we develop some practices, Anna, have you had any kids in here yet? In Kumo space? No, no? Okay. Uh, I have not. Uh, the reason I was asking is um, we're supposed to have a discussion about the Great Gatsby on Friday, and I was like debating about it's a high, it's kind of a high stakes assignment, so I'm I'm not sure if I should try a new platform, but it also could be fun. So I'm like really debating about um, whether I want to use this on Friday or not. Yeah. Are you doing like a Socratic seminar type thing? Yeah, or? that oh. was the, that was the plan. Or I don't know. I haven't done anything I like can. this on Zoom, so I don't know what to. I, if you if anyone has advice about doing Socratic seminars or a whole class discussions, I would love to hear any any advice you have in this format. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Paul, Paul might say, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to channel Paul. No, don't channel me. <laughs> say say what you're thinking. Instead of having the whole, whole class, having them in their discussions in their tables or groups. But yeah, well, we've done we've done breakout rooms with, we, we do, we have these things at our school called micro labs. Um, and so we do those in breakout rooms, but a lot of the kids get uncomfortable or, or aren't prepared or struggle. And so I'll go into a breakout room um, where they're supposed to be having a discussion. All the cameras are off, all the microphones are muted. So I've, the last two times we've done that, I've let them opt out. You can work independently, but I'll take off a couple points. Um, and a lot of kids are opting to do that. Um, Same. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had kids here last week. And what I noticed is that when I moved away and got out of the ear sites, I heard some little chatter going on. I mean, they might have not been talking but about Sam, work. But... You mean you had kids in Kuma space? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just to... Yeah, so that I'm I'm wondering if changing the format would actually encourage them to to speak more. Did you notice that um, when you? I, it's what it sounded like you were saying. I did, and then also mm -hmm. when I pulled up on pulled up next to kids, they were more willing to engage in either off mic or even the chat was like more active than it would if I was in a uh, mm -hmm. in, in Google Meets. But like I say, the other thing is I did hear like chatter going on 
the cool thing is I didn't know what they were talking about, which is mm -hmm. like cool. They're talking to each other, whatever it was. It wasn't like a long chatter, but it was like, it was just cool to hear chatter. It was normal. Yeah, that was that was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. But they, but today they told me I was I was spicing up the space too much. It's um I'm too hyped about it. So I need to I need to calm down my my liking of it. I have to say I don't like. I have to act like I don't like it. Yeah. You have to act like a teenager. My my favorite line it's is okay. to, my favorite line is to say I don't want to oversell it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But so, and one of the one of the practices that Jessica and I have developed is um, is I mean we use this same room setup, and we say to them that when you and they're really good at we have a couple of students who like know the corner they're going to go to, and they like when they want to work by themselves and all that. But we we say whenever we want to read together or do something together, we're going to call you to the main stage. And when you're on the main stage, please leave your camera on. Like we can't force you to, but let's just have a, a, a guideline. So it allows us to set up a guideline like that to say, mm -hmm. you know, "Hey, you're on the main stage. Can we see you?" You know, in a friendly way, kind of thing. So there is that. Um, enter. Uh, let's see. What's the rug in a elementary school classroom? Mm -hmm. we need a yeah. rug. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like a meeting morning meeting rug. <laughs> yeah. If we could, if we could design one of these ourselves, it'd be great. Right. We could, oh, we right. could have like a writer's chair and, mm -hmm. right, and, mm -hmm. and different ideas about like a podium. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? I'd have a whole coffee section. <laughs> you know, the whole coffee shop thing and do some spoken word. That'd be fun. They they did a room for Valentine's Day, and they also did a room for St. Patrick's Day, by the way. If oh, and for Chinese New Year's. Oh, did they? Oh. oh, yeah, they did. That's right. Eight. Anyway, I. <laughs> um, they're anyway. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Can, can we look? Can we look for a second at habits of mind and see how that's looking mm -hmm. together? Um and um. Maybe oh so let me show you I I have purposely just as a modeling kind of thing not like made you all able to share screens also but but anyway if you want to we can do that a couple of things that may be new if you weren't here for, I mean this was brand new like last week but when I broadcast um, I'm broadcasting like that right that comes up. Um, what's new, what's new as of today, and I hope that this keeps developing, is that when you broadcast, you get a chance, you get a choice to broadcast to this room or to all mm -hmm. the rooms, which is nice. Like you could make an announcement in all the rooms. Um, same with screen share. You get a choice to screen share just to this room or to all of the rooms. Which will be nice to be able to like send a group to be able to do that. Um, yeah, and I hope they they promise they're going to develop it so that you're going to be able to screen share to nearby as well, right? So that it's just people in the in the lighted circle. But that just just to let you know, the screen share looks a little different. Also, I'm going to start it right now. Um, Everyone in all rooms now. Okay, start. Okay. okay. Um, oh, it's okay. I'll start here. So you'll see what happens is the screen share is this little box. You can't see it terribly well, but but you have control over. There's a little box on the right side there. You can make it bigger then. Or not. Um, you can talk about. This is nice because it gives you different choice. Like Zoom, you can only see like four people while you're screen sharing. This kind of yeah, changes that. I think so. Oh, I see. But then you can choose to make it big. Yeah. Well, but it's well, either small or big. You can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. Minimize halfway. Oh, this little box. Okay, I got you. My my cool. sense is now, that the problem they... is some of it's behind the chat. How do you change? How do you adjust the size oh, of the hit... chat? Um, hit the chat box. Hit the hit the word chat oh. again, and it goes away. All right. Bye bye, chat. Yeah. It was nice chatting with you all. 
<laughs> yeah, so my sense is that they keep like every day there's something else dropped in, so just to to know that they're they're messing with it. Right? As as we go here. Um so but let's make it big if you want to see what I'm saying here. And if you don't, <laughs> do whatever you want. No. Um okay. <clears throat> So let me just do a very quick, and I, I sent an email to um, to Anna to show her this earlier. But here's what you can do in habits that different than we than three weeks ago. All right. Um, so, and it'd be great if we could just two of you you could go off and just play and see what you come up with after I show you this. Um, I'm looking to find so. <clears throat> Anna gave this taking responsibility. Actually, I can use Sam as an example too, but <clears throat> I'll use both of you. <clears> throat> throat> so if I go to this, is that a young man or a young woman? I forget. A young woman. Okay, young woman. Um, I will uh, I will find that Camilla um, received this habit, right? as as an, an award and anna wrote here camilla was able to conduct her interview write her post and publish it independently she was new to youth voices and she took an academic risk by using a new platform and created an informative post and then there's a link to that post now what i what i added in and and is that when you go to the post now you can we as teachers can add a category and if you add the taking responsibility category it ends up here and it says this work earned the author an award for taking responsibility so that i think that's nice that that's there yeah all right so there's that sort of idea um, um, so let me show you that one more time okay and we'll look at Sam's example. Sam, do you want to tell the story instead of my reading it? Yeah, so we uh, did these disaster sagas and a student wrote a story and he incorporated me in the story. And then we had to, we got a chance to read it at a, uh, a school-wide town hall. And so it was really fun and it was <laughs> super funny. And yeah, it was just, it was, and he's a humorous kid. And some people sometimes don't appreciate his humor, but like I appreciate his humor, so I wanted to lift him up. So you wrote he deserves a shout out for his wit and humor, and there's a link to that as well. And um, I also went, so I edited his his post. Can't do this with everything, like you can't do it on now comment, you can't do it in the profile yet. It's just posts that you can do this. You can add a a category by editing. And then if you add finding humor, it'll pop up there as, you know, this work earned the author finding humor. Oh my God, this is amazing. The what the kid wrote is amazing. <laughs> is Daniel is Say Daniel well, the yeah. one that um ticked off the seniors? Yeah, he's the he's the exact kid. Exactly. How do you know that, Karen? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he 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 ticked them off, but yo. They need to live that they were laughing when they read when they heard this. Yeah, but but because he, I don't know, because they, yeah, they were it was, they were more laughing at me because I was making because we when we did it out live, it, I was I was into it more than Daniel was, and so that that kind of like. <laughs> you gotta watch your enthusiasm, man. I know I, I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. So, Paul, yes. I have a quick question. Um, yes. When you showed, um, actually, can you go back to his to his post for a second? Mm -hmm. One thing I was curious about. Um, on yeah, the, we're still tinkering, uh, so if you have ideas, go ahead. What? Well, <laughs> so where it says finding humor, and then if you scroll down a little bit where it says exemplars, is that where you would find other, like if you awarded this to like a bunch of other students, their little profiles would pop up there as well? So, here, yes, no. <laughs> so, um, 
here's here's how I'll answer that. I those are the problem with those is that they are manually just added in when, by editing the 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 document, right? So I uh -huh. I, I actually um, I I use Sam's language here and made it more third person, right? I I don't know if that's true, but I notice that I'm up looking. Um, I am sharing the habits screen now. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because something. Um, Karen's also Sarah reads characters, so I added that in. What I worry about is that I won't be able to keep up, right? And like, what gets picked out as an, as an exemplar? Anyway, I don't know if we want these or not. Is what I'm saying. Do you think we should have them, or <laughs> they're going to be kind of totally arbitrary and not totally arbitrary? But I worry about that. I like the concept because who doesn't like props? Right. It's almost like it's almost like a digital badge, right? It is a digital badge. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I, I, that's the question cool. is: Do we this? Do we need this exemplars section on the on the on the achievements or not? Yes, because people are going to be coming in wanting to know exactly what to expect. Okay. The other thing worth noting, and and I keep I, I want to do this on on other things too, but it's like there's this category in my head that says like all the places you could go like on here you could if you hit any of these see mores they take you to mainly paul hankins but it could be other kids too um there are i think 95 comments at this point where they tell stories about what managing impulsivity is all about so just kind of getting to know things with that these see mores would be a useful thing to do. Um, there's also Costas and um, I always forget her last name. Anyway, Costa and Kalik. Kalik, that's it. Um, she's uh, there's their uh, their language about it too, and they quote other people. So there's a there's a rich. It's all on now comment. So that's a rich kind of place to go, kind of figure out what these things are, if if you want to. But, okay, so what I want to propose, oh wait, I was going to look at Karen's, because I don't think, because Karen, I think yours is a good example also, though, of the the Sarah one, right? I think, where's the other Sarah one? All right, so this gets meta-meta, which <laughs> all of you here, you know, have more a lot of experience with that anyhow. So let's go to Sarah, for example. She received, you gave her a thinking about your thinking, right? Do you remember doing this, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe? Is Karen still here? <laughs> yes. I'm yeah, looking. Yeah, Sorry. I was muted by mistake. Okay. Okay. And you gave her this, oh, this achievement. Did I pass through it? Oh, uh, you gave her two, and then they were sort of about, okay. But yeah. this one I think is interesting. Sorry, you can talk about it. Why did you give her this? Yeah, it's better if you talk. Um, <laughs> I am, uh, if you go up, can you see what she, what she wrote? Yeah, well, can we? Actually, so... It says, Sarah, your bookmarks, bookmark yeah. replies show how much metacognitive awareness you have. Um, yeah. Maybe I made a link earlier, but yeah, we're on her thing now. If we go to her bookmarks, we can see. So this is a bit of hopping around, but anyway. But what I think is interesting is that you gave her a an achievement award for multiple things she did, right? Right. So maybe that's why it's not. There's nothing wrong it, with it. I think it's good. I, I, yeah. Maybe it's not what? Like we want it to be, we want people to be able to see, wait, what did that, what was that badge for? And if it's multiple things, then we'll, 
that will, if it's not um, uh, linked to a particular um, post, then. Yeah, but we're talking about habits. So, and, and like, I, I actually like it. And as long as she can find it, I'm good with it myself. Okay. That's where I am with it, but, you know, and then she can say, you know, she can eventually use it in a portfolio is, is what I imagine. All right. Okay. So those are three re relatively good examples, I think, of what we're up to here. Um, About these exempl exemplars, though, it, um, that means that, uh, say, um, someone else gives a bad... Uh, um, a habit of mind um, a badge to another kid, then the exemplar from, so then Daniel or Sarah would show up on the, on their margin as an exemplar, even though. Yeah. It's an exemplar for, it's an exemplar for that habit. That's not good. I don't know. I don't. So what's the concern it? there? Yeah. Um, I guess I always, come back to this, but it um, maybe in the formatting, uh, it, can you show it to us again, where that that exemplar is um, small and it's in the right margin under the habit, right? Yeah, let's go back to the habits. So maybe it's just fine. So here's the general one. So there's Sarah's exemplar, right? Are you concerned about but go to their, calling her out or you know. no go to someone who got that habit you were showing us somebody who got that uh yeah i don't know if there is anybody else who got a habit and they're in the right margin it was yeah i don't have an example like that <laughs> i don't think oh but you mean i yeah i see you just you like were just, showing just like us. this one i got you i got her. there's daniels yeah, yeah. So go down. Yeah. So this so, exemplar would still be, it's an exemplar for finding humor. So this could yeah. be somebody else's post here and it would still be Daniel's exemplar. Okay, it is fine. Yeah? Yeah, okay. it's good. I mean, maybe we could think about the language exemplar. but um, The kids know what exemplars mm -hmm. are. Okay, again, Kieran, is your concern that uh, it, it it might narrow the definition almost too much? No, it, my concern is that um, uh, the kid or other people might say, "Wait, why is this other person's work on?" And mm -hmm. Like I thought I was looking at this kid's work, but then this. So maybe what we need to do on the exemplar is redact the names. So that you don't know if it's an actual person, you can just oh, on the exemplar. It's just this is kind of sort of what it looks like. Yeah, but then it'll look like this kid's post, and it's not yeah. always true. I think well, it's. I think the yeah. formatting solves it. It's it's um, just over there. It's tucked in the corner. It's fine. I mean, we could say like other other examples of finding humor. Mm. Right. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We could just. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's easy. Okay. Um, that's the kind of tinkering we're doing. Now, I'm proposing here, and for two reasons, I, I, there, um, that you go off and work with just one other person and actually recognize the student, right? Um, if you don't mind. And feel free to recognize one of your own students, and maybe it's not on the home page yet. Um, I'm a little behind and catch and getting everybody up there. Karen, sorry, I want to get your poems up there, but they're not up there yet. Um, but um, I will also, but I also point out that um, on the home page there are a couple of really things deserving, I think, of, of interest. You do have to be logged into Youth Voices. So I'm asking you to go and, and do one and then give give me and us feedback on how to make this something that is easy enough to do that people are doing it more. 
Like that's that's the real goal here, right? But here's a couple I want to show you from from Sam. Um, the talked about Meta. Sam, do you want to say what this is? Yeah. So um, last year or a couple a few years back, one of our students did a. Anyway, we're reading uh, Born a Crime on Now Comment, annotating it and engaging with it. I had a student do a a book review from a, a feminist perspective of like looking at doing a book review. Yeah. With a feminist lens on born and crying. So I posted that book review or comment, had my students respond to it in using multimedia. They found videos, uh, images and. Well, first they responded books. on now comment, right? Yeah. Okay. And so they really got super engaged with it. Uh, it was, it was, and also it was like really powerful seeing like their eclectic music so eclectic music selection responding to the, the you know the same text but through different like you know based on the kind of music they like. So it was really cool. All right. Um, so Sam did it one way and then we, we made it a post on Youth Voices. So um, the videos are here. You did a sentence phrase word. You had them pick out a sentence phrase word from her essay. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a basic reflection. So there are two examples like that, that we could give. So we could give Amir a habit of mind for that. Right. Um, this, uh, the work that, uh, you know, we, we emphasized it last week, but uh, Chris Sloan's, this is one of Chris Sloan's, um, examples that refers back to now comment again and so that's the beginning of her inquiry I think she's going to write four or five more posts about that topic so there's that and then Kieran do you want to say what this is this is a where I'm from poem by Alexis and just to say Kieran I've been playing with the formatting here and if if anybody wants to keep playing they say that wasn't how i wanted it we can fix it right yeah but, okay. um what i should find out uh i have to um double check my kids that that they're formatting it right uh, don't worry about it they're they're not but we'll get to it don't worry <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the the one piece of information is you know shift enter on a poem gives you your line breaks, right? That's the sort of when you're in a, right? When you're in verse? Well, no, when you're in, um, when you're in paragraph. And it's tricky because they, they keep changing it, but that's, that's what it is right now. Um, okay. So there's, there's those examples. Um, and then, um, I don't know if, um, sorry, just, oh, here's our Janet's kid. Um, I, I, let's, it'd be nice if we, I, I'm just going to say, it'd be nice to give this kid some props if we can, um, because I did a version and then he went in and just kind of blew my version out, right? <laughs> um, which was cool. He did a, um, so his, his poem, here is a, is a, a web story, right? I mean, he first did a version where he put all the poem on one page. And, and then I, I sort of gently said, you know, it, we need each verse on a different page. And he went in and found the images and made the font. And so there's all of that to look at, worth looking at. All right. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Um, <laughs> obviously, but, uh, so you could find other things too, if you'd like, um, the, um, if there's still more, there probably is, um, go, go up under the, uh, go, go jackets. What are they? Bees. What are they? Yellow jackets. Yellow jackets. Jacket. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Jackets. Go jack. Okay. Sorry. Go up under Berkeley and you'll find more of the immigration story stuff too. That would be worth looking at. All right. Fair enough. Um, so, so you're sending us to 
to Janet so, and where else? No. Um, Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Janet's is here at the kingdom. I'm glad you asked because I was equally confused. I'm all, I'm just okay. I'm Sorry. distracted too. It's not your explanation. I'm just <laughs> texting my mom at the same time. It's okay. She okay? Yeah, I was supposed to get my vaccine today, but I started feeling kind of sick yesterday. Um, oh, no. So yeah, I got my got COVID test. Oh, okay. Well, here in Georgia, we won't be getting COVID tests for um, anybody in education for quite some time. Oh, that sucks. I'm, I'm so low on the list. It'll I, I will what die of an asthma attack before <laughs> I die of COVID because I won't be able to get a vaccine, so I don't go anywhere. <laughs> According, yeah. according to Biden, everybody's going to be done in May. Come on. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, according to Biden, too, the people who spoke uh, ill of others would be immediately fired, and that didn't happen either. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one more in there. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. if I could. Can, can, no, that's fine. <laughs> Let me just say that the the royals, the 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 kids who are doing this neglect, the neglect of Skid Row, the pay equity stuff, these kids from Aurora, Illinois, do these sort of amazing, thoughtful pieces of writing, um, almost once a week. It's more like every other week. So I just wanted to point that out too, and mm. and the teachers there can't come on Wednesday. They they want to, but they can't. Anyway. So, and they do these work cited things at the end. There's something kind of really interesting about what is happening in that place to the violence. And oh, Sam, I wanted you to look at the violence in the Chicago neighborhoods, by the way, in terms of hoods and yeah. your, your inquiry into that. That That's a really interesting one from that. All right. So, I. Was wasn't that a perfect answer to I'm confused? Now there there are two more to look at. I, well, I have two directions. I'm gonna go and do. I'm gonna go and look at some of these now. Okay, I think that's the deal. I, and what I wanted to suggest is that you could go with each mm. other. Um, and Nikki, are you still here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so let, me, let me. Karen, Karen and Anna go together. And Nikki and Stephanie and Sam go work. And I, oh, yeah. yeah, go oh. off. Let's play how this works. So go off to a table. Bite. Hey, Sam, I'll follow you. Okay. Oop. How's that? Better. Paul, um, yeah, so I just. Broadcasting. I am. Screen. Oh, yeah, or, I know I am. I'll turn that off. Okay. okay. Thank you. My computer's blowing up. Is that does that happen? <laughs> like literally? No. You mean it's it's, it's uh, loud. Yeah, it's getting loud. There are <laughs> issues. There are issues, but and you know, good anyway, yeah. But I don't know. All right. Yeah. Um so basically what I want you to do is is just go through the process of giving somebody else a a um an award. Okay. And so I just wanted to give you some idea what's out there. You you may have something you you may want to give your own kid something or okay. And and, and, to, and work with each other and and I'll be around if you need something. Sorry. Okay. So we start on the habits of mind. I mean, we we should look for the post, but I'm just I need a little refresher on the process. So to actually give the commendation or the badge, you need to be on the habits of mind page and then you click that little thing at the bottom of the actual habit and then uh, write your blurb and then a link to the That's exactly evidence. right. Okay. But, but by the way, Chris Sloan had that same sort of conceptual thing and our looks like our kids will too. So we need to think about that a little bit. But I don't, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's how to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. It's, it's really cool. Okay. The thing, I'm trying to see like, the, there's so many ways to do these things. I'm trying to see the, way that Paul was saying to do it efficiently to give them the um so the could I could, could I jump uh, in on that yes. yeah so yeah, there's, sure. there's a conceptual thing that feels obvious to me so <laughs> but everybody everybody is like wait should I start on the post itself or should I start on the habits page right and the answer yeah, is the I'm answer is to... start on 
know the post you're going to give an award to, mm -hmm. but go to the habits page, find the habit, write the description in the habit, and link to the link to the post that you are going to talk about. Okay. Okay. So where are the habits? Oh, they're there. Okay. So I duplicated the tab. So now I can go directly to the, t the tab of the, uh, um, the post and then I can have. The yeah. Habits you just on need the, the link tab. of it. Yep. The link for it is all you need in the end. Yep. Yeah. But that way I don't have to remember. <laughs> I'm old. Remember? Yeah. So, so you, you do sort of need to have both the post up and the habits page so you can decide which habit it is right Right. and then under the habit you click the box and then a, a little box comes up but you can make that box as big as you want and you write a just little description there and and add a link and and then that'll go to that kid's profile got it okay and i'll sort be of got it yeah i'm learning a lot i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. information it's like it's crazy Okay. Oh, a little detail is that when you search for, and Sam, you ran into this, when you search for the student, you need to know their username because there are 10 Abigails, right? And you need to know which Abigail it is. So you find, you might have to go to their, to their profile to see their username. Sorry, I tried to make this as simple as possible, but <laughs> there are those complications. I'll come back, see how you're doing. But, yeah. Okay, well, the author with the username is at the bottom of the post, so that helps. Um, oh, it is? The, is the username there, though? Well, sure. I mean, it seems like you can click on... Okay, on yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can click and find it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. little complication and a couple of quick hints um when when you click on and there are 10 abigails right and in paren is the username you you figure out which which is the kid you're talking about by you can do it by clicking on the name and then going to the profile and it shows up there you can see it okay but you might you might start to recognize, oh, I put 2002 in front of all mine or whatever, but, okay. But you do need to find the username for that kid. Karen, you're muted. Did you? It's okay. <laughs> she didn't mean to do that. You need to find the right Abigail. That's right. Okay. And if you don't, we'll fix it. But, yeah, okay. You guys okay? You just working? Okay. Okay, I see the post. I get to I chose altered, which is the last paragraph. So if you go back if you if you go back to the world don't love you March 2nd, 2021, if you scroll down on that page, it says Amir is the uh the author of that before the actual thing. Okay. It's okay if you're just figuring it out, but if anybody's too frustrated and they want to go off in a corner and talk, we can do that. <laughs> I say. still don't see, I don't see Amir. I don't see where I'm supposed to find the author's name. I see authors written out at the bottom, but no names. I'm going to show you. Um, but this will pop up for everybody, but that's okay. Um... Now, this is kind of cool because it's it's got the... Uh... The commentary, it's got his comments on the commentary. Yeah. Along with other people's comments on the commentary. So I think, so, um, Nikki, everyone else can leave that, that small, but you want to make that uh, screen I got it big shared now. big? Okay. okay, good. 
Uh, I gotta go find it. So we're looking at Amir's. Right. So yeah, I'm, I'm, work, I'm working on Christians. Good. So here's Amir's, right? And down right. here at the bottom is his under authors. Is this? Okay. Now, there is a, a little secret here, which is that when you scroll across his name, there's a, at least on Chrome, there's a little black box that appears. And if you look really, really carefully, you can see that his username is A-H-M-I-R-R-24. Okay. Do you see that down there? Um, I'm, I think I'm not on Chrome. Okay. Alternatively, and this makes this is easier, you click on him and then you can see it right here. Okay, gotcha. You can also see it up in the URL. Up, but, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Cool. And that was your question, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Any issues? Oh, I'm still typing my um, the blurb. So let me ask you. Let me ask you a meta question though. When I popped in like that, did that feel like I was jumping in? <laughs> students it's... students often feel like, "Where'd you come from? Where did you?" <laughs> I don't know. No, but okay? yeah. maybe because we're. <clears throat> because you're doing we the are, work. <laughs> we're each working on another tab, on mm. the Youth Voices tab. So I'm just saying, um, yeah, I'm learning how to be, a, you know. Well, I was very aware that I'm like, I lean like this into the screen. And I it, yeah. I was like, oh, there's someone here. I need to like fix my fix my face. But <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> it didn't it didn't alarm me in okay, any way. Okay. Fine. The kids won't have that problem because they won't be on screen anyway. Right. Well, they might be. <laughs> or they might be, yeah. I, yeah, it, never mind. Okay, go back to doing what you're doing. Um, but we do want to share, so another, try to finish what you can. You can edit it later if you want. Um, okay. In five minutes. Okay. okay. Okay, is everyone writing a description at this point? Or can I help or? I'm moving, trying to move you along because we want to, in five minutes, come back and share with each other. Okay, so explain exactly what we're doing. So I found him, I found the post, I looked at all of his stuff, okay. I have a thought, now what do I do? <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Good description. So now you go to the, go to a different tab and go to the habits of mind. And it is yep. youth voices. That's where I am. Dot live slash habits of mind. Decide yep. which of the habits of mind you think it, it represents. Okay. And you click the box below that says, hey, click this box if you want to give him props. I think it is a him in this case, right? So where does that, wait, where is that box is on his page? No, so, it's on the it's habits on of mind page. Yeah, sorry. I'll share again. I'll show you. I, I'm, I'm just. Um, uh... I cut you off. Um, let me. So you're not doing so, anything on his page tonight. Right. You're doing okay. it in the Habits of Mind page. So I'm on the Habits of Mind page and say so I want to use. And you're logged into your voices, right? Yes. Okay. And, I'm, and I've got applying past knowledge to new situations. Okay. Now what do I do? There's a box at the bottom of that that you click on and a little box comes up that you can type in. The comments box? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you're done with that, you hit that box at the bottom again. All right, so click here to give props or recognition to a member of Youth Voices message was sent to this member and the member will appear in a list under this habit. 
So click here. Aha! Okay, so this is where I need to know his username. I'll copy that from that one. Okay, good, good, good. Sam, you okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm writing my comment, and I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to do Chris's uh, thing. Cool, cool. Okay. I thought I was signed into Youth Voices, but obviously I'm not, huh? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see that you were. Yeah. Okay. So, are you signed in? But you're not signed in with your um in your link to your account. I'm guessing not. So why yeah, am I? That's what that was, that was me for a minute. I, was, I forgot because I'm so used to being signed in. Okay, why am I not finding the sign in? Great. Um, I'll share again and see if that helps. Okay, so click here to give props. Clicking. Do I need to use the at sign with his name? No. Um, wait. Yes. I don't know if just that I don't I don't know. Because it says please it says because it says choose a member whose work, blah blah blah. But then it says click here to give props. And when I click you, on when I click on what I wrote, it says please choose a user to nominate. Right. Did you there's a box to choose the user. And when right, you start typing the name, that's all you have to do. It doesn't seem to be. He doesn't appear? His name doesn't show up? Well, I typed in his, his uh, username. Just, just type it. No, just type. Sorry. Just type his first name and see okay. if it comes up with the username in paren. That's an interesting issue. A-H-M-I-R. Is that working? A-H-M-I-R. Oh, okay. Yep. You should choose, and then you have to choose the right one. That's right. Okay. That's a detail I forgot, that, but yes. That, yeah. That's, so, um, I don't want to log. Right. Your but, nomination has been sent successfully. Cool. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. Making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to take some practice, but I think once people get used to it, it's super cool. Yeah. So, but I do have at the moment, I have four tabs open to yeah, make it happen. Yeah. Um, Nikki, are there two Ks? Wait, no, there you are. Um, you have, you know, there you are. Yeah, this is this is a real workshop today, man. But it's good because I don't think I'd have well, figured it, it all out it on my own. Nikki, is, Nikki, good. you're you do have an account here. I know. Um, and let me see. And and your username is Nikki Dash Fame. I don't know if that matters. And let me see. Yeah, everything's filled in, so it should work. All right. Let's um. That's okay. Okay. Um, Don't wait. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Did you find the login fine. button though? Yeah. The login should be up on the top yeah, right, right? They're, they're not necessarily. There are different uh, places you can find. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Chrome girl. Mm. But there's a login. Um, on the orange button and anyway, 
I'll help you find it sometime. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Why don't we, um, Sam, if you can get yours up, we will come back and we'll get it up. debrief here so that you you also get the satisfactory your your it's been published thing. yeah it, i mean i i press i hit the um okay let me just check in the others and then let's come to the and i want to sort of going back to the main stage is that what we're doing yeah but let me let me announce it cuz just like okay. a, in a class so we can practice <laughs> Uh, I gotta stop sharing this. I need to go get another drink anyway. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Stephanie's getting another drink. Um, if you want to get another drink and meet us on the main stage, please do that. Or whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end, but please come to the main stage so we can talk about what that was like. All right. Thank you for messing here. Um, can, can we look at can we look at the habits page and see if see what you did? Will that work, Karen? Did you get one done? No. Oh, okay. But I did. I did um, interact with the um, with the um, the. I did click on see more. And so I was going back and forth using the now comment. Oh, text. really? Okay. That's interesting. I feel like we had a really interesting, or we started to have an interesting conversation about, we, we looked at the same poem and then we were like, which we're, we're deciding between two habits, which I thought was a fruitful conversation to have. I, right. So we were investigating the, the we were, using and assessing the habits themselves. Mm -hmm. Mine worked, in case you're wondering. Yeah. That the, the one that I gave, when you yeah. go back to that uh, the habit, I'm gonna look his, at his, his picture now shows up. Where is it? Which one is it? Uh, use what you learn, applying past knowledge to new situations. Okay. For his little his little icon there is is there now. People who have earned so, this this Wait, but that's Karis. That's is that who? You... No, there's two. There should be two people there now. Maybe refresh. Paul? Maybe I have to refresh. That's correct. Because um, my screen shows two people. Yep, I got it. I just had to refresh. Yeah. So when we go here, we will see. I just want to finish the process a little bit here. Yes. And then, so... Right. So. Here's his here's his award, and yeah. then it's, uh, here's your award for it. And there's my my little statement. All right now, what happened was um, you didn't put a link to it, and that's oh, it's right. I forgot the link part. It's okay. You could just to say you could hit reply and add the link add the later link. if you want to. Um, this is the one it is though, right? Yeah, I'll do a link right now. Okay, I just want I just want to quickly show you and like Amir himself could do this or yes. or what I'm about to do or any or any teacher could do it. Like right now that badge does not badge. That that habit doesn't appear over here. To make it appear, you go to edit. Either you do it or I do it or Amir does it himself. If he says, "Hey, I want that to appear on my page, right?" Or if I catch up to it, I'll do it. Just trying, okay. trying not to set up all these things you have to do manually, right? Yeah. Because then you never catch up. Um, but I'm just going in and finding category, and it was um, what was it? It was something about history. Uh, using what you knew. Using. Apply it. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. So there it is. I just search for applying. It shows up here. I update it. And now that will appear in the right margin in the right column. Right. Yeah, 
there it is. Well, that's pretty slick. Cool. I mean, I actually think it's cool that he could go in and meet Karis this way, too, if he wanted to, or anybody could. Like, who are these kids who are doing this applying knowledge stuff? Uh, anyway. <laughs> That's the idea. Um, Sam, do you want to say any more about what you did? or? Oh, um, I um, I gave Christian recognition for his, the, meta, the meta work that they... He was doing um, thinking about your thinking, and um, I just you know gave him a shout out for like uh, his reflective thinking on the book review, but also like bringing in the videos, bringing in the 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 the, the, the quotes, and bringing in uh, his reflection, putting that all together. That's that's real heavy 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 meta. Uh, heavy metal. <laughs> that sounds like a, a a type of music. Yeah, it's heavy metal, man. I give him a prop for that. So but, that's um, that's showing up here. That's cool. Um, a little a little um, geeky geeky thing that you might not notice um, is is that they they appear kind of whited out. Yeah. Um, because um when when the students go on it right the if they haven't received that habit yet it's whited out for them oh. once they receive it it's bright right and they go on it okay Clever. there's there's also this up here this filter up here that they can look to see all of their completed achievements or their not completed ones yet right not That's sure cool. how that will work out but all right, um, <laughs> we are up to 10 o'clock and you're all from the East Coast, so I can say that. <laughs> anybody have, anybody have any, any? Anna, you're in Berkeley. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna, okay. I was, sorry. Okay, I can go to bed at 7 p.m., I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> Anna just got out of work. Uh, well, I just want to say I all of you work so much, and so I deeply appreciate you coming here. Um, thank you. This was this um, was fun. I'm glad I was glad I made it, and I'm glad I was. Yeah. I mean, normally Wednesdays I'm just there's nothing left because I teach two classes, living in the East Coast on West Coast time. I teach two night classes on Tuesdays. Oh. Man. So last night I was teaching at midnight my time, and. So usually Wednesdays I'm in a fog, but today I'm awake. So here I am. Can I just, I, you know, I teach with Jessica Hernandez Spear and she told me a secret today, but I, I th the reason I'm repeating it is because it's, I think a lot of teachers are going to feel this way. She feels like she has never been a better mother to her kids and she doesn't, come home with a headache every day from school <laughs> and like she's like i know this isn't ideal but this is better living than it was before it's no? there are some definite <laughs> so how so pros. she can so how can she she's try do i have to go back and do that teaching thing again <laughs> uh, here's what i think i think there is going to be I mean, a space. i'm sorry to call jessica out like that because i because it is a, a lot of people's story right yeah, it is. It is. And I think I think going forward, there's going to be a space for the online component because there are a lot of students who do better online. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of students who are suffering not being in the classroom, but there are a lot of students who have found themselves as academics, students who never thought they would be good in school. Without all the distractions, they have found that they do better. So I think if schools are smart, they will have some kind of an option for some teachers and students to stay in the remote world. Yeah, we're 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 putting in a proposal to do uh, some hybrid next year, non-COVID hybrid. Like, yeah, I think that's smart. Yeah, uh, my principal uh, has been tinkering around with like, thinking about time. Or anyway, so like, um, 
we're taking he's taking advantage of this so we'll see that's a good principle yeah no he's a real innovative cat <laughs> all right yeah that's cool thank you all you know how all to right. exit it's my favorite so thing cool. you walk down to the exit um i'm i'm with you at I'm nine sure. o'clock oh wait you're yeah. gonna you're gonna send me a kumo space or do you want yeah right yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you okay Oops. thank you wrong window right now. <laughs> i'll yeah. go find her there you there go there it is there it is there it is you don't you don't sit on top of it you go right next to it and then hit exit all right thank you <laughs> bye bye good night thank you good night how uh, do i get out you hit you hit the red exit the red exit done you, you hit it with your cursor there you go Karen, when do you st when do you start? When's poetry end and when does uh... looking for an argument? It it it's like April, um, um, a week after April vacation is okay. when poetry ends. And the, I'm I've never taught looking for an argument before. And um, I know, and you have lots of curriculum. And I have a ton of curriculum from them as well as. That's what I meant. Yeah. Youth voices and it, and there's a little wiggle room like I could bail on some of their curriculum. The I I don't know if they're gonna hire me to do it or not, but South Bronx Rising together is wants somebody to do and I've been putting together a thing around the election. I mean that the primary is happening right now feels like it might be another angle for you to think about, right? Like who? Primaries. Primaries so for it's, what? It's, 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 a, it's, it's like amazing to even think about. But there is the mayor, the comptroller, all of these are June 22nd, right? Wow. And, and, and almost, almost all of the um, city council. Right, so your local city council member is going to be elected right now, and your mayor and your comptroller, and and maybe others, but those are the wow. biggies. I mean, just just thinking through that, like the approach to think about. I still want to start with you know whatever your passionate question is, but then relating that out to hey, you know. Maybe you need to write a letter to these. I think there are twenty-two people running for mayor right now, right? Yeah. But when I've asked a couple of kids, like, "What do you know about the election?" Like, "Well, we did that, didn't we? Do we have to do that?" <laughs> it's like, yeah, people are like, don't even know this is happening, but it's happening right now. Anyway. Yeah, it'll be. It's happening right now because um, the semester will end in June already. The elections will be here right and there's like a student forum even tomorrow i think that all all the candidates are coming hearing students questions on so it's a real world yeah it's sort of like letters to the next president again right right i mean that's so that might be an, an angle for you to think about as your yet another angle i know you had plenty but no, this is great. And also, okay. um, do you know I want a president? President who? Oh yeah, yeah. That poem. It's the same. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The same rhetorical vector as, dear. Um, yeah. Dear president. And we're doing ranked voting. Do you know that? <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's another piece, but it's worth thinking about. Too. But, like of the twenty-two, you can. Yeah, you, you're going to be able to vote for five. And and you have to put them in order. And like, if your fifth one doesn't win, then they get eliminated. And then there's like a, a calculation, and everybody moves up. So the second or third, third person in the first round might actually win the election. Um. All right. I don't totally understand it, but that's worth. It's sort of and a civics thing that kids should be thinking about, right? Maybe. Sort of a what thing? A civics thing that maybe they can teach others, <laughs> but 
I mean, I was thinking you have ninth graders, but yeah. the algorithm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, nice to see you. Thank <laughs> you for, for those two things. That curriculum that you're making sounds um, uh, interesting. I'm gonna think about um, uh, it, um, what are you passionate about? What do you think um, people need to hear? Um, what do you think your representative should do? I'm also thinking, uh, given your harvest connection, I mean, given who your kids are, they come from different neighborhoods, right? Right. So identifying an issue in their neighborhood, like not in a negative way, but, but maybe it's identifying who the candidates are for city council in your neighborhood. Because they're really interesting people, some of them. Um, so, okay, that's a civics piece, but <laughs> I will see you. Okay, take care, Paul. You too. Bye.